Hello and welcome back to this Django tutorial. In the previous video, we've, we've seen um, how to install the prerequisites. And in this video, we will use the virtual environment that we've installed in the previous video to create our containers. So let's begin. We, we type virtual env and then the name of the virtual environment will follow. Um, in this case, we will use the env as the name of our virtual environment. We press enter. So when I go into the folder structure, you can see uh, we have V E N V virtual environment that is um, created in our home directory, and we need to activate the virtual environment and now start installing um, the the packages or whatever we need into the virtual environment. CD into the virtual environment V E N V, and then activate it by typing source being source being activate yeah so from here now we can start installing the Django and whatever uh, requirements that we need all in this virtual environment so the first one we will install pip install Django this project was built in uh, Django 1.8 so in order for us to follow exactly the same code please install uh, Django 1.8 and then in the later videos or in the later tutorials we can be using the new Django versions we have to type equal equal 1.8 but if I leave it as it was it will install the newest Django yeah so to install version 1.8 you add equal equal 1.8 and press enter so this will install Django 1.8 in the virtual environment and to confirm that it is installed we type pip freeze Django 1.8 is indeed installed in the virtual environment so we will start using the Django commands to create our project and also the to create this, the app yeah so we use uh, Django admin.py uh, start project and the name of the project will follow. I will use Django project in this video and press enter. This created the project called Django project. If I type ls, you can see the folder called Django project is created. Now, if I go into that folder, see the Django project. If I cd into that project, that folder and I type ls you can see there is another Django project inside so in order for us not to be confused in which folder we are in I always want to rename the outer folder called Django project to src meaning our source folder where all our source code will be now I will cd back well, let me show you where I am exactly so they could follow now if I open the folder so you can see I was in the VENV and I cd into the project directory and if I use the GUI this is the folder I mean right now I'm sitting right here so this is the uh, the app itself so the project itself now when I go back this is an, a container so I would want to change this folder the outer folder this one the one that contains the manager py i'll want to change it to src yeah i can rename it from here or i go to the command line i cd back and then i change that folder to src Enter. so you can see now that folder is now renamed to src and if i go into it again we have the Django project and the manager py so so now we can go into the CD SRC and use the manager py to start our Django app. So manager py start app and the name of the app will follow. We call it uh, Django app for now and press enter. And when I use the GUI again, you can see Django app is created. Now if I type ls, we can also see from here we have Django app. As our app name and Django project as a project name so we can run the development server by typing manager py run server okay so you can see this is 
showing us the URL to go to to view the 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 front end of the app by right clicking it and clicking on open this will open uh, the Django power page and this is it worked congratulations on your first Django powered page so this is all we need to do to make sure we get our Django operational and and running so in the next video we will look at how to customize this page to uh, suit our need and yeah start building our app start writing some codes okay thank you so much and please subscribe send in your comments and yeah, thank you.